Most of us view venomous animals such as snakes, scorpions and spiders as creatures to avoid. Yet scientists believe that their toxic venom could be a vast untapped resource for the development of life-saving drugs. I'm Dr. Geoff Lacey and I'm here in the south of France on the hunt for some extraordinary animals with the potential to save lives. The Venomics project is a collaboration of venom experts from across Europe, aiming to find new drugs capable of treating conditions such as cancer, diabetes and cardiovascular disease. I'm just on my way to meet Pierre, who's one of the lead scientists involved with the Venomics project, and him and his team are hunting for scorpions today. Hello. Hi, Joe. Hi, Pierre. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> Pleasure. It's great. It's beautiful. Well, well yeah, isn't it? Well, should we go and... Sure, sure. Let's go scorpions. look for scorpions. Uh, that's a big rock. So is it literally a case of just picking up rocks and... Absolutely, yeah, in this area to find them. Okay, here's a scorpion. Where? Oh my god, one. yeah. All right, we found them. Whoa. Okay. And this, I assume that's the yeah, bit that's... Yeah, that's the singer, yeah. This is a member of the family of scorpions that are lethal to humans. Kill, you know, thousands of people every year. Uh, in, Mor in Morocco, in Tunisia, in, 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 in Mexico. Whoa. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very... Don't, don't, don't be nervous. <laughs> it's not going to jump you, well, It looks angry. Pierre, can you explain to me what exactly is involved with the Venomics project? Uh, Venomics is a large-scale project aiming at discovery of new drugs. Instead of using, for example, medicinal plants to, yeah. to, to look at new drugs, we're using animal venoms because they hold such a high potential and, and such a large number of uh, active molecules. Because it seems slightly incongruous that venom that's designed to hurt or kill you could potentially be the source of a life-saving drug. Yeah, but then again, a poisonous plant also has the same properties, and if you extract its compounds, one of those compounds, given at the right dosage, can actually cure you. Right, well, should we crack on with the search? We should, we should start lifting rocks. Yeah, okay, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. <laughs> the toxic proteins or peptides within venom target and interact with specific cell receptors within the body, affecting the vital functions of the heart, nervous system, blood, or other tissues. It's the targeted nature of these toxins that gives them huge potential for the development of drugs which have highly specific and effective therapeutic actions. Blah. That's a task to find a scorpion of my own. And I'm up against experts who have already found several themselves, so for my pride, I have to find one. Hundred rocks now. Right. Oh my God, it's quite a big one. Starting to get a little bit frustrated. Pierre, if you're looking for worms, I found lots of them. <laughs> I found one. Nice and easy. That's it. Right, you come. Don't move. Exactly. That's it. Woo. That's it. What a relief. <laughs> Congratulations. <you> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My first scorpion. Your first scorpion. The, the estimates we have currently are about 40 million molecules all together from, from all venomous animals. So we know about three to 4,000 molecules only. Basically, we're key hunters. We're, yeah. looking, we're looking, looking for keys for the, key to, for the locks unlock. Yeah. That, that interest us. If you can find the key to the lock on the cancer cell, for example. Potentially it could be, potentially, provided there is a suitable lock or receptor. These creatures hold an immense potential for drug discovery. The Venomics project has laboratories in France, Denmark, Spain, Belgium and Portugal. And the aim is to source the venom of over 500 species of animals, including snakes, jellyfish, ants and cone snails. One of Pierre's partners in France is an expert in the breeding of large spiders. After you, I think. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hi. Hi. Hello, I'm Joff. Okay, I'm Francois. Nice to meet you. 
I'm surrounded by spiders. You're surrounded? Yeah, I'm feeling very comfortable. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Mainly of them are belong for, to the family Teraphosidae, which uh, in English is bird-eating spiders. Uh, okay. Sometimes called tarantulas, but it's uh, bird-eating spiders. And here, you're breeding the, the, the spiders as well. It's not just... Uh, spiders, scorpion, to milk them, to provide uh, venom for the richards, for, for Pierre. And you milk them here? Uh, yes. François is closely associated with the project because he's got a unique facility. You probably have no more than four or five people in the world who can actually breed the, the spiders and milk their venom. Studying a diversity of venom will, will allow us to uncover a diversity of molecules with different properties. Dare I ask, can we, can we see some of them? This one is a huge one, as you see. A huge one. You have to be very calm, still, and breathe a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Easier said than done, okay. Okay. Ooh. That's a very large spider. Yeah. The venom is also quite potent okay. in those okay. species. <laughs> <laughs> And can we see you milking yeah. some of the spiders? Yeah, of course. Great. Good work. Let's put him to sleep. So you're applying the carbon dioxide straight to the lungs? Yes, absolutely. You can see the fangs. No, you can see the fangs. The poison nose glands are covered from muscle, and when I put some electricity, it causes the muscle to, to contract. contract and uh, expels the venom. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah. You see the venom. Fantastic. Yes, of course. She's with you. <laughs> Pure spider, Pure spider venom. So Pierre, this sample of venom can now be sent to your laboratory for analysis, is that Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yeah, to being dried, yes. Fantastic. Okay, Geoff, so cool. let's, let's step into the lab. Thank you. So here's our facility. Ah, and here's all the... Here are some of these scorpions we collected uh, previously. We're going to extract some venom from the scorpions because we need for the project both venom and venom glands. If you want to try, you can have a go at uh, scorpion milking. Okay, yes. So I will install the scorpion in a holder and then we'll stimulate it with a, a bit of electrical current. I will first grab the scorpion gently. We're going to put him here and you're going to hold this yeah, for me. Press, okay. yeah, that's, that's fine, okay. So, so you're giving it shocks I'm giving now. shocks. Okay. Mild electrical current. Can you see the venom drop? Yeah. Okay, well, well that's enough to run, to run a to an analysis. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Perfectly alive. Once milked, the team separate the venom into its constituent peptides, which will then be added to a bank of molecules ready for analysis. This project has the same excitement in the fact that it is, as you say, this kind of leap into the, the unknown with such a strong chance that you'll find something of interest. You're exploring something that's never been explored. It's like going to other planets, you know. Yeah. As a scientist, intellectually extremely exciting. And the second reason for excitement is that you hope that you can make a difference one day and maybe out of all this work, get a cure for something. That's two reasons for being so enthusiastic.